What's happening, guys? Welcome back to episode 8 of the CFC Manager Mode. First game we have today is up against West Brom... Brom actually, at West Brom Abelvian. Um Starting lineup here, we're actually going to start Petr Cech, uh, Felipe Luis, Aspera Fabregas will play the camp position. Mikhail will play the RDM. Quadrado will start on the right wing. And Drogba will be starting at the striker position. Let's get right to it. We are currently sitting at 10th spot with 15 points. 4 wins, 3 draws, and 4 losses. Hazard with 5 goals throughout all competitions. Once again, nothing really has really changed thus far. Uh, pretty much Cahill and Terry will be in my starting 11 at the center backs pretty much almost always. We see here Mr. Brunt has 5 lead goals as well. Looks like they'll be running a 4-1-4-1 formation. Which is not too uncommon. So what can, they can do here. I actually, I, I typically struggle against playing opponents that are playing, you know, 4-1-4-1s. But it's just very difficult to break down their midfield in general. And this card does get booked with the yellow card here. Typically speaking, uh, when, we, when we play Diego Costa up front, we get a bit of pace in the middle here. So we, we can throw in some th some through balls and whatnot, some lobs. But with Drogba not being the same player he was maybe th five, six years ago, you have to play him like a, more of a traditional target man right here. And... Uh, Speak of the devil, unfortunately, it, does, it looks like he actually gets injured right now. He has a broken ankle, which is not good at all. Probably going to take at least one to two months to heal, typically speaking. So the Chelsea legend does get subbed off. We're going to put in Loic Remy. Gives a, a bit more pace, a bit more acceleration up front. We can probably press a little bit better as well. Okay, that's not a bad deke. Nice dribbling. They're basically, they basically have three guys in front of their back four to stop anybody from... Oh my goodness, that, that, that wasn't a bad pass though. Just didn't continue that run here. That's the Jolene Lescott challenge that led to Drogba's injury here. And of course, playing in the EPL, it is a, an extremely physical and demanding league. Of course. Nothing really happens first half. Uh, we're tied nil nil. Let's look at some of the stats here. It's one shot to no shots on target. We dominate possession 68%, but we're not getting the type of shots we want. We can't get inside the box as easy as we would like to. So some adjustments must be made. Let's start the second half right away against West Brom. All right, so we're just waiting until Drogba gets back on side. I mean, not Drogba. Remy gets back on side here. They're letting Hazard cut in the box, which is a very bad mistake. Substitution is made here. We're going to put Sesk as the corner taker. Right in here. Nope, not there. Here, don't let him cross the ball in. He does cross the ball in and he gets the ball as well. Okay, that was really, really risky. The substitute comes in, catches the lob, and tries to take it, but just misses completely. We're going to take Hazard off, put in Willian for some added pace here. I don't want to tire out Hazard too early into the season. He has played pretty much almost every single game. Maybe minus, or he's he started pretty much every single game already. Looks like I can give him a through ball here. Nice, nice, excellent finish. The pass was actually intended to Remy, but uh, Oscar was with a follow up, and we do get the goal. This is a very interesting camera angle as well here. So, great pass by Willian. 
breaking the deadlock. We're up 1-0 at 76 minutes into the game. Can't really complain right now. West Brown is playing great, great team defense. They're not giving me too, too much here. Felipe Lewis, let's see what he can do here from the cross. Nice finish. Loic Remy with the intense header. No question about it. We're up 2-0 now. About 8 minutes left in regulation time. And I'm actually liking Felipe Lewis. He's very, very good at crosses. And a very, very pacey left back. Not the paciest, not the fastest guy. But he can hold his own in a 100 meter sprint for sure. So he's going to hold out for the next couple minutes here. Uh, someone's through Remy. I uh, should not have cut to the middle. But okay, whatever. He's pretty fast. But let's see what he can do here. Give him that cross. Pretty good save by the keeper though. Not a bad attempt at goal. We have less than two minutes left. We just need to hold out a little bit longer here. Play some position defense. Maybe even zonal defense actually. Good through ball. And I don't know how that happened here. A fatal error by Petr Cech. Does not happen very often. But he is out of form in the last two, three weeks I would say. Just as that goes squeeze through his arm and torso right here look at that right through his arms gotta do better than that we do give up a goal we do concede one late but uh two one we should be able to hold it out fifa just pulled a whistle there we go we do get that w we do get the valuable three points that we're looking for here i would have liked a clean sheet but Costly error did cause that to not happen, essentially. Look at shots on target, 4 versus 2. Still 61% possession. Shot accuracy is a whopping 100%. I have not seen that ever. 85% pass accuracy is decent. Alright, so let's take a look at the calendar here. Advance a bit as well. Okay, so Didi Drogba has suffered a broken ankle and will be out for about three months. We'll be doing what we can to bring him back into training. Hopefully beating the timeline. Unfortunately, the Chelsea legend is supposedly out for three months. Hopefully we can get him back within one to two months realistically. Um, obviously, with the injury limitations, we can't know for sure how severe it might be. Um... We got another international offer by the Greece national team. Unfortunately, we'll politely reject that because I'm not looking to play at the international level at this moment. We'll be trying to motivate our players as well against Ajax. And looks like Felipe Luis probably wants to play as well. He did have an assist in the last game against West Brom. I really enjoy my football at the moment. Yada, yada, yada. Sure. Starting you shouldn't be a problem. He does give up a little bit of defense, I would say. Um, Aspera Cueta is probably the better defending fullback, in my opinion. He's more of a right back, actually. But uh, Jose Mourinho has decided to put him to the left. And uh, inserting Ivanovic on the right back. So, sort of balances out offensively. So, again, we're going to start Courtois this time. Pretty same back four as last game. Felipe Luis on the left back. Aspel Quait on the right. Willian will start. Fabregas will be playing the, the right defensive mid. Oscar playing the cam. Diego Costa back at the striker position. All right, let's get to it. And let's get that uh, win against Ajax. And hopefully we can advance at the group stages. We are currently sitting at second place with seven points. Two wins, one draw, and one loss. I don't see too big of a change on their starting, uh, starting eleven. More of a more of a variation for the four-two-three-one formation. Hazard has not scored in a long time, actually, but uh, still giving us an impact. Still bringing the assist. Still putting a lot of pressure on the fullbacks, uh, opposing fullbacks, actually. So we'll see what happens this game. Alright, so, typically what I would like to do is I would like to 
give Hazard the ball as much as I can, provide some pressure, and that was not a very good pass, mind you. Unfortunately, I think Diego Costa has tweaked something. Um, yeah, he's got a sprained ankle, so that's not very good. So Remy will have to play in, in his steed once again. Remy's giving me a sort of a super sub role right now. He is scoring, um, so I can't really complain right now. But not having Costa up front is going to hurt us uh, offensively. We can't really do that. I mean, Remy does give us a different type of aspect, a different type of dynamic um, in the front, but he will be missed. He is the leading scorer right now, I believe, for our team. Oh, my goodness. They have really tall players here. I should close out that cross a little bit better as well. But uh, Courtois does make the tap over. Pushing that ball above the net. Now another corner here. Very close. But not close enough. Fortunate for me. Oscar. Looks like a double is coming over. Hazard. Nice. Nice pass. Okay. Well that's just not even close. Poor effort. Should have done a little bit better. Half time. Nil nil once again. PSG is actually tied with Pesquitas 1-1 one, one a piece as well. Match facts here. They actually outshot us uh, by one. We have a slight advantage in possession. Alright, second half against Aox. So we can do here. Still a scoreless tie. William, great dribble move. No help though. Got Remy running in. Oscar's running in. Yeah, that wasn't very helpful. Ramirez should have done a little bit better. I thought he had scored. Yeah, should have done a little bit better than that. I mean, I know the angle is really tight there, but. Alright. Looks like there you want to use a flank. Use the width of the field, but luckily we deflected it. Looks like two substitutions were made. Alright, well. That was not a very good pass. And I can't sub anybody off, unfortunately. I think the game glitched out on me a little bit. And they use our third and final substitution. We got about four minutes left. Regulation time. Will the should be cutting a little bit deeper. Alright, Remy. Move up, one fake move. And let's do it. Yes. Not the right side. I wanted to go with the left post, but that works too. 88th minute goal. Hopefully that does it. We just got to play some defense in the last two, three minutes or so. Two minutes plus whatever added time. Right. Hold out and win. All right, that should give us about 10 points to advance. We'll take the 1-0 victory. It looked like the game was going to be a draw, but... Uh, we dug deep. We got the result we wanted. Let's take a look at the stats. Two shots on target versus one. 53 possession versus 47. Shot accuracy was not very impressive. Passing accuracy was a whopping 90%, which is great. Let's head back to the calendar here. Um, it looks like that little red dot on the left here. All these red dots. Uh, the game is... Sort of glitching out on me a little bit here. So let me just quickly do that. So yeah, we just pretty much restarted the entire console. Uh, nothing really changed. We're going to be playing at Sunderland as the last game of this episode. And uh, we do have some injuries that we got to deal with. We have, well, Costa has a sprained ankle oh, for about three weeks. Which is not as bad as one would think. I mean, we did lost Drogba. Uh, we have Remy still, and we don't have any, we don't have a fourth striker that is ready. Uh, Solanke and Izzy Brown is also available, but I uh, don't really can't really trust them at this point. Uh, Felipe Lewis is feeling great, which is fine. We are still si well. Actually, we moved up to ninth with eighteen points. One more win should, in theory, propel us another spot or two on the Premier League table. But first, we have to actually get the three points um, against Sunderland. Starting 11, we'll be putting Petr Cech once again. 
Felipe Lewis will be playing the left back for the foreseeable future, given the amount of good form he's in. Fabregas will be playing the pivot role with Ramirez, Oscar at the cam, William Hazard on the wings, and Remy will be starting. I do have Solanke, Cuadrado, and Loftus Cheek uh, on the bench. All right, let's get to it, and uh, hopefully we can get the three points. All right, let's take a look at the table here. We have five wins, three draws, and four losses, sitting at 18 points at ninth spot. Look at the Sunderland starting 11. Mr. Jermaine Defoe, former TFC man, will be in the 4-2-3-1 formation as well. Van Anhalt was used, was a former Chelsea man as well, actually. I wish they would show somebody else aside from Eden Hazard, because we all know he only has five goals in all competitions once again. That doesn't change much, to be honest. I'm just worried about Czech right now because his form is not great. I mean, it's just not great at all. Not even like, oh shoot. Okay, good. Okay, well, wrong, wrong, wrong way to head the ball, you know. All right, defo, defo. Ooh. Defo wouldn't be a my, wouldn't be a bad signing though. I must admit. Oh my god. That was very close, guys. That was very close. Should have done a better job defensively. Look how look how oh my Nice. Alright. We have the through ball kind of. Yes, he's through now. Hazard no, that's not close. Not even close. Okay, well. We had a chance there, but uh, we got to push it. Let's switch it to the middle. Hazard, yeah, no, he's offside. Okay. Okay. No. Uh, okay. Probably have to kick it back across, basically. Yeah. Wow. That was a pretty good attempt, though. The cross was not very good, to be fair. Oh, wait, no, the, the keeper actually blocked it. I lied. It was a good shot, or a good strike. Gotta watch that. Pick it up. Two additional minutes added for the first half. And I, there goes the whistle. Final score, nil nil once again. I have been struggling to pretty much score in the first half. On the bright side, I haven't conceded too many goals in the first half either in the last couple of games, so... That's good as well. Three shots on target versus nil. 58% possession versus 42, which is not too shabby. All right, second half. Let's try to get the result that we want. Uh, we, don't have much, we don't have many striker options left, quite honestly. All right, so. Oscar. with the, Well, that was not a good strike. All right, at least we still have the ball. Um, we can kind of get him through. That's that ref. That should have been a penalty right there. Okay, way to go and try to take on my legs. Okay, we can get the cross through. Oh, just deflected. I'm pretty sure that was going in. Yes, give him a booking. Yes, Mr. Johnson. All right. Let's put Ces Fabregas once again as the corner taker. Wow. Okay then. Right. They're on the counter attack. I'm having some trouble pushing him off the ball. Oh shoot. I just passed him the ball. Wait, no. Come on. That's a penalty? What about that time when Loic Remy got taken out completely? C completely got body checked there. This is not cool, guys. Uh, 68th minute. We might actually concede a penalty here. So we've got... Yes! Petr Cech with the fantastic save. They still have the ball, though. Don't let them center it. Oh, jeez. No. Crowd him. All right, good. All right, we're still in the game. But just by a, a very narrow margin, mind you. 
we can pretty much attack the flanks as well. Uh, ooh, that was not a bad header at all. He literally jumped through two defenders to get his head on the ball and then finish. That's, that's a beauty. That's a beauty right there. Look at that. Look at that cross. Boom. Look at that. All right, so we're going to have to sub off Oscar. We're going to put Quadrado in. I think we're going to shift Willie into the camp position this time around. Well, 1-0. Got about 15 minutes to go. Let's see if we can hold it. All right. Push him off the ball. No, what? That's not a foul, ref? Come on. That's not a, that's not a foul. Oh, shoot. Don't, don't, don't take the ball. No, 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 no. No, oh my goodness. I can't believe we can see that Buckley goal. Two minutes right after we scored. It was literally two minutes after we had scored. They scored, tying the game immediately. What's going on here? Where's the defense? I need some help. Someone, someone clear the ball. Okay, we pretty much just gave away two points on that single play. Not happy about that. We're going to post this Fabry gas. We're going to put in Mikhail as well for some defense. we got to hold it the next 11 minutes, basically. And we are very, very undermanned right now. Okay, what the heck was that? Anyways, two minutes. All right. All right. Pass the ball. Don't hold the ball. Two minutes. Two minutes. Keep pushing. Two minutes. Use your pace, Quadrado. Let's go. Where's the red card, ref? Seriously? All right, Patrick Van Anholt also got a booking at the 90th minute. He is a former Chelsea man as well. Would have missed him. Same with Ryan Bertrand. I missed those left backs, those pacey dudes. And Larson comes in for... I guess the last substitution of the game. Someone just got another booking for some reason. I don't see that very often either. But anyways, we need to cross the ball in and hope hope for the best here. Try to cut a header in. Oh, never mind. That's not even close. Final whistle has been blown. We have tied the game 1-1. But really, that's not Petr Cech's fault. You know, I, I put the blame on the back four. Really should have cleared that ball for instead of letting Buckley go in for the finish. They actually outshot us 11-7. to seven. Uh, Surprisingly, we still dominate possession with 56%. Shot accuracy is only 57%. Pass accuracy is only 81 However, that pretty much concludes this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.